from the dam. Now I have one, two, three, four. I mean where the lines met or the meeting point on the lines. So you have four here. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two. So our answer is 264. So 22 times 12 is equal to 264. So we have number 2, 43 times 11. So the same way, the first number is 4, so we have 4 lines. They have to be close to each other. 4 lines. And then the second number is 3, so we have for 3 lines. 1, 2, 3. Then we come to the second set of numbers. We have 1 at the top, then the other one, 1, at the down. So we count one, two, three. We have the three here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven here. One, two, three, four. So our answer is 473. So 43 times 11 is giving us 473. Another example, example 4, let's have 9 times 2, 9 times 2, so you subtract 1 from the last number there, 2 minus 1, and you get 1. So the 1 that we have, we subtract it from 9, so 9 take away 1, you are going to have 8, which means that 9 times 2 is 18, 1, 8. The last but not the least, number 5, when you have 9 times 8, 9 times 8, so the rule says that the that 1 from the number that you are using to multiply 9 with, so you have 8 minus 1, and you are getting 7. 8 minus 1, you are getting 7 there. So we are now going to subtract the 7 from the 9. So 9 minus 7, you are going to get 2. Which means that 9 times 8 will give you 72. Let's add another. We have 18 squared. So the 18 squared is the same as 18 times 18. So the first one. You subtract 8 from it, and then the second one, you add 8 to it. So when you subtract 8 from 18, you are going to get 10. And when you add 8 to 18, you are going to get 26. So now this is what you have. You have 10 times 26 plus the last number, which is 8. So you find the square of what? 8. So, 10 times 26 will give us 260. So, 260 plus 8 squared, which is 64. So, when you add the 2, you are going to get, you add a 64 to 260, you are going to get 324. So, and 6 times 8, we have the 8 at the end there. Now, when you look at this, you realize that this number is 1, 2, 3, 4, another beautiful pattern there. Now, one thing that we can also look at is that this is our 1s and this is our 10s. So, the numbers under the 10 column, they are half of the numbers in the 1s column. When you look at it critically, so you can see that 1 here is a half of 2 and the 2 here is a half of 4 and the 3 there is a half of 6 and 4 is a half of what? 8. So the numbers in the 10th column or the 10th column are half of the numbers we have in the 1th column where you multiply 6 with this even.
digit numbers against two digit numbers. So when you have 32 times 12, 32 times 12, how do you go about it? So the first set of numbers, we have two squares there. And then the second set of numbers, we also have what, two squares. As well. So this is what you do. You divide this diagonal first, this diagonal as well, and then the last one two as well. So this is three, two, then one, two here. Three, two, and one, two. Now let's go. One times two will give you only two. Or I mean zero, two. Then 1 times 3, 0, 3. 2 times 2 will give you 4. So that's 4 and then 0 here, or 0, 4. Then 2 times 3, you are getting 6. That is 0, 6. Now let's consider the diagonals. Here we have 4 here. Then looking at the ones in this line, 2 plus 0 plus 6, you are getting 8. So the same way, 0 plus 3 plus 0, you are getting 3. We have 0 left there. So we put the 0 there as well. Or you can decide to leave it. So 32 times 12, you are going to get 3, 8, 4. So the answer is 384. So number 1, you have 52 times 11. This is how we go about it. First, repeat the first number, that is 5. And repeat the second number, that is 2. Now you add the two numbers, 5 plus 2 will give you 7, and you put it in the middle of them. So the answer is 572. Number 2, we have 23 times 11. What we have to do first, repeat the first number, 2, and repeat the second number, 3. Now you add the 2 and the 3, you are getting 5, so you put it in the middle. So our answer is 250.